Hey, good morning, audience. Thanks for coming in on late notice like this. I appreciate all of you being here. This is new. Uh, I've never done a video in front of a live audience before, so thank you for coming and being here. Now, I'm going to give you a few instructions about when to laugh. This is important. Okay, I don't trust that I'm really going to be funny. <laughs> Why would I think that I'm going to be funny? So I'm going to tell you that uh, when to laugh. And, and for starters, every time you hear me say the word tomato, you laugh. Or potato. Okay, those are the times you laugh. If I say tomato, no, that's not funny. Tomato. So let's practice it. All right? Tomato. Okay, yeah, yeah. That, that, that's, what I, that's what I'm talking about. That's, that's great. <laughs> That's great. Okay, uh, potato. <laughs> All right, you're doing a good job. All right, Mildred, my my camera person. I'm ready to go whenever you. Oh, we're already we're already rolling. All right, great. Let's start. Good morning, my my blog readers. This is my second only video blog. Uh, that I've ever made, and so uh, I hope you enjoy it. Now, the difference today is that I have a live audience here in the auditorium with me, and you may hear them from time to time. Just ignore that. Just let that uh, help you to enjoy the experience, <laughs> the experience all the more. Um, now, today's topic is tomato, tomato. <laughs> Uh, the, uh, that's uh, that's what we're going to be talking about. Uh, potato, potato, also same thing. Yeah. Now, you've heard the expression, so you already know what I'm what I'm talking about. Um, it comes from an old song. You say tomato, I say tomato. Let's call the whole thing off. You're you're familiar with that, um, but I want to uh, talk about what it really means. Uh, for starters, though, I have an issue with, with it just a bit. Uh, the problem I have with it is, you know what, nobody ever really says tomato. <laughs> <laughs> not really. Not really. Nobody ever really says that. Nobody ever really says potato. Potato. <laughs> potato. Nobody says that. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, by the way, if you if if you hear uh, laughter at the wrong time, there is a little bit of a lag in the sound system in this auditorium. So sometimes the audience doesn't hear me until a second later. I'm just letting you letting. No, sir. There's no lag in what I'm saying, and there's no lag in in the, the comedy. There's lag in the in the in the system. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <Ow. laughs> okay. Anyway, nobody says tomato. There you go. Imagine walking into a diner somewhere around here, Tennessee. Louise walks up to you. She's a waitress. And uh, she has Louise written across the, the shirt she's wearing. And so you know that's her name. She says, what do you have, sugar? And that's how, that's how you know you're at a diner in Tennessee. She calls you sugar. Um, yeah, that, that, that. Anyway, uh, you say, this is unbelievable, but you say, hey, I'd like a bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's going to roll her eyes and look at you kind of funny and say, uh, what did you say? So you repeat it. I'd like a bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich. <laughs> and she, she kind of frowns and looks down at you and she'll say, hey, sugar, we got bacon, we got lettuce, but we ain't got no tomatoes. And then she turns around and says, hey, Fred, back in the kitchen. 
We got a communist up here. He says tomato. That's what he says. He says tomato. <laughs> now, see, that's not going to get you very far. So the next thing you know, she has called the police because <laughs> she thinks you're a communist. <laughs> and uh, the town policeman shows up. He walks in and, and says, Louise, what we got here? And she says, hey, sugar. And she... <laughs> She calls him sugar too, yeah. And and she says, a communist sitting over there, he ordered a tomato, tomato sandwich. Yeah, that's what he ordered. So the policeman, whose name is Ralph, I'm pretty sure, walks up and says, hey, uh, what'd you order? You didn't order no tomato sandwich, did you? And I say, yes, sir, that's, that's, I, I just want a sandwich for lunch. Well, the next thing you know, he slapped some cuffs on me. He's dragging me out the door. He throws me in the squad car. He's driving me to the jail. He throws me in the jail where there's only one cell. So I go in there and there's another guy already in there. And I ask him what he's in for. He says, I'm in for beating up old men. All right, I know I'm in trouble now. I know I'm in trouble now. <laughs> I've been in trouble since we started. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, and you know why I'm in jail where they're throwing away the key and I'm never going to be heard from again? Do you know why? Because I ordered a tomato sandwich. <laughs> now... That's the issue I have, is that nobody really says that. Now, they do say tomato in some, part, <laughs> in some parts of the world. They say that. They, they probably say that in the UK. What's that, sir? <laughs> no, I'm not talking about the University of Kentucky. No. But... <laughs> By UK, I mean the United Kingdom. Probably in England, someone might say tomato. Yeah, it's, it's not as funny because they do say tomato in England. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but we're not in England, okay? Here in Tennessee, in the United States of America, doggone it, we say tomato. And uh, so that's one issue I have with it. Now, the thing is, nobody says potato either. Uh, <laughs> uh, imagine going to, I don't know, Idaho. And um, going into a restaurant and ordering... <laughs> The audience <laughs> did get a bit louder there. Uh, I guess I really think it's uh, potatoes are funnier than uh, tomatoes. Yes, thank you, thank you. They are, yes. Now, um, here, here's the thing. You walk into a restaurant in, in Idaho and order a baked potato. No one's going to know what you're talking about. They'll say, did you say potato? <laughs> and, 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 and I say, yes, I'd, I'd like a baked potato. Yes. And they look at me and say, hey, are you from the University of Kentucky? <laughs> no, I'm from Tennessee, I say. And and then, then they realized that what they meant was the, the UK and England. Anyway, that's my issue. Nobody really says that. So when I sing the song, which I won't sing for you, you say tomato, I say tomato. I don't say tomato.
I don't say tomato. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I do not say that. Nor does anyone else I know say that. But there's a true meaning for it. The idea of the phrase tomato, tomato. Okay, you, you know what, audience, we were kind of entering the serious part of the blog. So you no longer have to laugh every, hmm, every time you, you think you're supposed to laugh. Okay, so if I say tomato, you know, You don't have to laugh because uh, this is the serious part. We, we're trying to be very serious. And so, yeah, if, if, if you're in a conversation and someone says, well, that's just tomato, tomato. <laughs> okay. This may be the last time we actually have a live audience in the auditorium, but it's okay. Um, oh no, I hurt your feelings. I, I'm sorry. Uh, all right, tomato. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Appreciate you guys. I do. I love you very much. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Thanks for coming. <laughs> um, now, back to, back to the serious part of the blog. Serious part. Our country's divided, very partisan. But you know what? The differences many times are simply tomato, tomato. Yeah. And it's okay to laugh at that because it's ridiculous. We get in fights and we argue and we hate each other over things that just don't matter. Now, some things do matter, sure, but they don't matter to the point that I should um, argue and hate someone. Even the things that matter don't. But you know what? We get in arguments about things that really just don't matter. For example, you know what, the, the, the pandemic may be running its course, maybe the, the rules we have to follow are, are dying away, I certainly hope so. But if someone makes a rule that says you need to wear a mask or you need to uh, stand six feet away from other people, I can wear a mask and I can stand six feet away from other people, it just doesn't matter. Why in the world would I hate someone and try to start a fight with someone over such a silly issue? That's tomato, tomato. Thank you for not laughing that time. And so that's all there really is to, that, to the point I'm making today. Let's, let's get together. Let's find things we have in common and let's quit arguing over things that are so silly, they really are tomato, tomato. And that's it for today. Thanks for, thanks for joining me. Thank you, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.